Okay, welcome back to Unbound Being. And today I wanted to speak about repetition. Now, as you notice probably, and some people have mentioned it to me over the years, um, often, that I repeat a lot of things. For example, when I when I have a certain point in a certain video, I might go on for that point for about, you know, five, six, seven, ten minutes. And it seems like I'm repeating from all kinds of different directions the same thing over and over and over. And they, at times, people would say, you know, Roel, you repeat, I already you said what you said. You know, you've been saying it for the last times, you're just saying it in different ways. You know, I've heard what you said, all right? And I said, okay, yeah, fine, great. And then what? When I stop talking, I'll tell you what's gonna happen with most people, right? With most people, when I stop talking or speaking about these subjects, they'll go straight back into the memory about some historical thing, straight back in the ego structure, and they're talking again about themselves as this body being somewhere, they're going somewhere in the future, they've been somewhere in the past, start talking about who they met on the street and that he's getting a divorce or some, some gossip nonsense like that, right? So why is it so important for me to repeat? Repetition, it take, well, you could basically say, it takes repetition for recognition. Right? Because we got into this mess through repetition. Since you were a child, everything around you was programmed in a way that made you um, believe that you are a body-mind. It made you believe in time, that there is this past and there's this future and you're moving through this, this time travel thing where you're going from the past as a baby to an old man if you're lucky at the end or old woman. So, We've been over and over and over and over told rubbish, told nonsense, and now people can't get out of it anymore because through that repetition, they became identified with the false self, with the separate self, with the non-existent separate ego structure. They believe they are a creature that lives in time, which is in their memory, and so people live and suffer accordingly. They suffer because they believe in a lie which has been repeated so many thousands of millions of times through all the ways, all the movies that reinforce the structures of belief in being a person and being a man or a woman or doing things in your life. All the objective things have been so slammed down that it actually takes a repetition of truth to keep hammering in or let's see, say, let's keep chipping away at the bullshit right? to remove all the nonsense you have to have somebody, and preferably a many different styles, right? You have people like Eckhart Tolle, Barry Long, you have Rupert Spira, Muji, Ajashanti, Ramana Maharshi, Nisargadatta, Papa G, um, Ganga G, um, Paul Hederman. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry if I forgot some Sadhguru. You got. I mean, there's so many people you can listen to. Um, Matt Khan. There's so many people I've listened to that have helped chip away all the nonsense, all the bullshit that we've been taught in school and by our parents and the religions and the scientific model. That's probably the worst one of all these days, the current religion of crappy scientific nonsense, all right? So if you want to get rid of all the bullshit, which was through repetition put into your system, this programming was over and reprogrammed and it was ingrained, it was solidified, it was cast in marble almost. So if you want to get out of this, then a few minutes of repetition on a certain subject ain't even gonna do it, right? So for those who think often that I repeat myself when I try to drive this point home, it's just because if I stop speaking about that point, there's gonna be hours of repetition of the mind, the thinking mind just regurgitating its own rubbish, reinforcing its own timeline, telling itself again who it is as a body and it's struggling with this and it's having trouble with that. And you know, I was so free a few years ago when I had a mystical experience and I just felt like one and I knew I was one with the universe, but then, but, but then, right? But then. then, then I started talking again in my head and listening to the voice, right? Or not really me, but the voice started going over again, the ego verbalizing nonsense thing that thinks it's an identity. It thinks it's a separate self that believes itself into existence, right? This, this non-existent memory game, which goes over, oh, this is where I'm, where I'm at, this is what I'm doing, this is where I want to be, I want to still buy these shoes, and so, all that stuff will go on. So repetition is needed for recognition. Right? It takes repetition for real recognition. Repeat, repeat, you are not a body and mind. Can you see that you are the seeing of the body and of the thoughts? then who is that? What is that? What is recognizing? What is seeing? What is aware? What is conscious? You know? 
Do you see that this is not? No, do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Yeah, you have to keep seeing over and over to undo all of the rubbish. It's not like you're going to find your true self. You are your true self. It's just all the layers of crap that's been put over it. All the identification. So for real recognition, you have to have repetition. It takes repetition for real recognition, for true recognition. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be repeating a little bit. So I hope you can handle a few minutes a day of repeating. And for those who uh, do like these videos, uh, the, f the views that I got on some of these videos, it seems there's at least a few people that appreciate it. And don't think I'm angry either. You see, people have such an idea about anger. Passion is something completely different. If you see a football stadium full of people screaming and you say, well, they're, they're angry. Well, many of them are, of course, when, when their team is losing or they're sad. The point is, I'm not angry at all. I'm passionate about the truth. I drive things home. And the fact is, because there's in this body a certain way of presenting it, doesn't make it that in other body where it's like, oh, some, sometimes I'm like that too, soft and gentle and it's okay. And I speak very softly because, but today I woke up and there was something in me that had to give, give a little bit more, you know, punch, a little bit more juice to it, a little bit more, you know, fuel on it. Sometimes, you know, you just do it with a candle and other times you do it with a torch. So today it happened to be a torch because that's how the divine works. And, and, and don't be all, you know, conditional about that either. I know masters and teachers that teach in a weird, in a way, a way that you think you would, they would be angry. They seem like they're angry. They're not angry at all. We're driving this thing home because it's a serious matter. You really get serious about the spiritual life or the divine life, or you just keep pussyfooting around like so many people do, and then they just keep going back to the default mode of the ego conscious bullshit, non-existent, separate self. We're pussyfooting around. The the fact is. It takes repetition to get you out of the nonsense. It takes many of us, many, many years. We're not as lucky as all everybody is, as like Eckhart Tolle is or somebody. We're not as lucky as that. Most people are not. We need repetition. And you better be take it serious because if you're going to go to a satsang or a, a, a weekend meditation group or a week retreat and you come, the moment you step out of the retreat hall, you go back to speaking with everybody about who you are and where you're from and your history and oh yeah no I'm from over here and then oh wait how did you get into truth oh well you know about 15 years ago I had this mystical experience and then people oh how many children do you have and the whole damn thing starts right over again did you grasp what's going on in the satsang did you get it the fact that you repeat over and over this historical nonsense out of your memory makes the separate self feel like it exists makes the separate self an apparent an apparent reality which it's not so stop regurgitating, stop vomiting, stop bringing up all the historical past all the time to construct this thing which is not, you know? So I'll repeat the other, I'll repeat the truth, I'll repeat it over and over and over, just like Muji for example, beautiful master, over and over and over. And what do they do? He brings you to the place of the source, to recognition of who you truly are as the awareness, that which is seeing, that which is aware, the clear space of pure consciousness, pure perception. The first question that comes after that, somebody that's jumped right back. But two weeks ago, blah, 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 goes the memory, blah, 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 blah. It takes repetition for true recognition.